Hello and welcome back to HWRRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today in the news, we got private Facebook messages for sale after 81,000 accounts hacked. Hackers appear to have compromised at least 81,000 Facebook accounts publishing private messages. Like I just did a show about earlier about them getting sued. And here's the reason why they need to get sued. We might hear a little sad sob ending of how they just get off the hook free. But you about to pay. Your life about to go through hell. But here goes the story. The alleged perpetrators told the BBC Russian service that they had acquired details from a total of 120 million accounts, which they were now attempting to sell. Though the actual number appears to be less than their quoted amount, Facebook stated that its security had not been compromised and that the data had likely been accessed through malicious browser extensions. The platform also added that it had taken steps to prevent further accounts being affected by the hack. The BBC understands many of the users whose details have been compromised are based in Ukraine and Russia. However, some are from the UK, US, Brazil, and elsewhere. In a new removed avert, hackers were offered to sell access for 10 cents per account. We have contacted browser makers to ensure that known malicious extensions are no longer available to download in their stores, said Facebook executive Guy Rosen. We have also contacted law enforcement and have worked with local authorities to remove the website that displayed information from Facebook accounts. The breach first surfaced in September when a post appeared on an English language forum which read, We sell personal information of Facebook users. Our database includes 120 million accounts. Cybersecurity company Digital Shadows examined the post as part of a BBC investigation and confirmed that more than 81,000 of the profiles posted online as a sample contained private messages. Data from a further 176,000 accounts was also made available, although some of the information including email addresses and phone numbers could have been scraped from members who had not hidden it. Facebook is refusing to shoulder blame for the breach. However, it has not named the extensions it believed had been involved in the leak. According to Facebook, it was only one of these extensions that had been quietly monitoring victims' activity, sending private details and conversations back to the hackers. Wherever the blame lays, it's more terrible news for a platform that has found themselves embroiled in data scandals over the last year. Yeah. It looks like they trying to break Mark Zuckerberg's pockets. I don't know what Mark done done to the government, but it seems like the government got him in their eyesight too. Just like I told you, they got T.I. in their eyesight. Now T.I. getting sued. So, if y'all ain't believe Cat Williams about gatekeepers and being a good boy, good boy, good boy fighter, y'all ain't believe in that shit, then shit. I don't know what world y'all living in, but that's what the fuck is going on. And I hate to say it, but we're hearing about all this shit because Mark is trying to be greedy with his money. Like I told you, greed brings down everything. So if the demise of Facebook comes, it's became because of greed. So if you ever get the rock, don't be greedy, motherfucker. But that's going to be the show for today. So go ahead over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app. Make sure you check out the sponsors page and shit, I'm out.